SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Hello and welcome back to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Are you ready for 2020? Have you got your sights set on specific investments, on small business startups, on launching your own product or business, or investing across a broad spectrum of offerings available to you right now? You're in the right place then, right here with us on SBN, the Small Business Network. In this edition, we look at a couple of new ways to get around efficiently, the power to stay ahead, curbing your carbon footprint for business and beyond. We flip the switch on the sun and the breezes it brings us, opting in for a clean air breakthrough when it comes to sustainable organic lawn care. And everybody talks about the benefits of going organic at meal times. Now we're looking at an investment opportunity that puts the organic market where your mouth is with a storied collection of ingredients. All that's ahead, right after a brief message. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. Be right back. SBN, the Small Business Network, does not endorse or recommend that an investment into any of the companies or deals included in its programming. Please note that SBN does not conduct any diligence or review of the companies or deals appearing on its network. Neither SBN or its affiliates make any representation or warranty, express or implied, as to the accuracy, completeness, or definitiveness of this information. This information is presented to inform the public only and has been obtained from the presenting company's official publications. This presentation does not constitute an offer of or the solicitation of an offer to buy or subscribe for any securities to any person in any jurisdiction to whom or in which such offer or solicitation is unlawful. Investments can and do lose money and you should be prepared to lose your entire investment. Please seek legal counsel prior to investing. Welcome back. You're tuned in to SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis. The promise of electric vehicles for everyday consumers is being kept in the most remarkable ways. It may be that we've reached the turning point, allowing drivers diverse options when it comes to selection of electric vehicles over automobiles with conventional internal combustion engines. Now, wouldn't you like to imagine a vehicle designed to surpass most others you see on the road right now? Cars with a carbon conscience cars that can take you a thousand miles in any direction from a single charge, cars that are setting new standards for safety unlike any other vehicles on the road today. It's the car that's looking for your investment consideration, and it's called the Aptera. While we're thinking about the possibilities of owning one of our own, let's take a look at the pitch video from the team behind Aptera Motors. I've been concerned with the environment since I was a kid. My parents took me to Earth Day and I was inspired. In college, I studied more about how we're harming the planet and what I could do about it. Now I have children who have to grow up in this mess and I want to do more for them. Then one day, a few years ago, I saw hope. I saw the Aptera on TV. There could not be a better time. This is the Aptera. And guess how many miles it gets to the Fascinating car. Car. It just looked like the future to me. A car that's more efficient than I am on a bicycle? It was unbelievable. Amazing. It was just what I needed. But then... They killed it. And I was, well, sad. And angry that it wasn't going to help me use less, less fuel, less energy to pollute less and leave less of a footprint. But now they are back and I'm so happy and excited to now get a chance to drive one far, <laughs> really far, 
every day. It's my chance to do more, more to help this planet and my kids and well, everyone. Minimum investment in Aptera Motors is $100. What else can be said about this investment opportunity that's seeking a parking spot in your portfolio? Here's another handful of the Aptera's attributes. But this isn't your older brother's EV. The Aptera isn't only battery operated, it has solar panels to capture a 40 plus mile power reserve. The Aptera is aerodynamic, lightweight, strong, and fun to drive. Every Aptera owner stands to reduce their carbon footprint by 14,000 pounds of CO2 per year. Last but not least, it is more affordable than you think. There is much more to learn about the Aptera from Aptera Motors Corporation, and the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. We'll be right back with another outstanding investment vehicle for your consideration. Keep it tuned to SBN, the Small Business Network. You're back with SBN, the Small Business Network. I'm Brian DiNovellis, glad to have you along. Now earlier we promised you another look-see at a unique investment vehicle, or maybe it's a unique vehicle for your investment consideration. Either way, it's pretty darn interesting. From a group of minds determined to solve last mile logistics when it comes to upright, energy efficient mobility, really anything that requires ease of getting around bottlenecks in a tight location. Here is the Sun Vessel. There's already a lot of smart money riding on the Sun Vessel. Solid investors whose names you'll likely know. Forward thinkers who have supported the founder's efforts while they work diligently to refine this model of technology, built for deployment where the rubber meets the road. Now if you've gotten this far and you're still not sure of the product's design or performance expectations, it's a great time for us to roll out the crowdfunding campaign pitch video for the Sun Vessel. Imagine moving like no one has ever moved before. Sun Vessel's crowdfunding campaign is your opportunity to become an angel investor in the future of last mile mobility. One of the hottest industries predicted to be worth $300 billion by 2030. An industry that is changing the way we move. It is this simple notion that guides our team of entrepreneurs, designers, and engineers from MIT, FIE, Northwestern University, the University of Michigan, and Babson College to build a seamless next generation mobility experience, which we call Sundus. But the real stars of the show are our beautifully designed charging stations for our personal mobility devices that organically fit into properties and cities, but also help us achieve a profitable bottom line to attract investors such as you. Our ultimate goal is to bring our easily deployable charging stations inside every building where you live and work so you can move effortless. Let me show you how our stations work. Users can come up to our stations and magically unlock our send vessels using our mobile application. Once they are done with their ride, users can come back to our stations to seamlessly lock and charge their devices. And our solution has received praise from international media outlets such as CNN. Local authorities have even worked with us hand in hand to make this a reality, awarding Sun Vessel with the keys to the county. And current users have taken hundreds of rides coming back time and time again. But we will not rest on our laurels and we will continue to think even bigger to change the way we move. Today is your opportunity to join us in this visionary ride. Worldwide investors have already poured more than $6 billion over the last four years into micromobility startups. Now, 
it is your turn. So come join us, change the way people move. The minimum investment for the Sun Vessel is $500. The founders behind the Sun Vessel claim to be changing the way we move. If what you've seen encourages you to make a move toward investing, the Small Business Network can help. Start by dropping us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We'll connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. Let us show you how. We're back right after a quick break. You're tuned in to SBN, the Small Business Network. Stay with us. Welcome to SBN, the Small Business Network, your showcase for investment opportunities through crowdfunding. I'm Brian DiNovellis. Here at SBN, we really enjoy seeing people who have fun launching their campaigns. We also appreciate products and projects that show consideration for the environment. If it means saving the forest for the trees, count us in. And you remember too how we love a good play on words or just good clean pun like this. What quality would you think important for a lawn care business trying to take root? They'd have to prove they were a growing concern. That's where Clean Air Lawn Care steps in to fill the bill. They've been a growing concern since the jump, developing 67 franchise territories in 17 states. And while this is not a pitch for you to buy a franchise, we're sure they'd be happy to discuss the possibilities. More about Clean Air Lawn Care. They are green in more ways than one. Its mowing program is solar powered, and that includes its leaf blowing and trimmings collection. They say all the applications to green your lawn are 100% safe and organic. They developed their program originally with their own kids and pets in mind. Let's have a look at the campaign pitch video from Clean Air Lawn Care and get a better sense of what's growing on. In 2009, Clean Air Lawn Care won the Emerging Entrepreneur Award from Entrepreneur Magazine with just $588,000 in revenue. We're now approaching $4.6 million. That's a 682% growth. I'm Chris Angiard, the Marketing Director at Clean Air Lawn Care, and our superhero Moose Monty? He's a pretty great mascot, but marketing isn't the only reason for our growth. Clean Air Lawn Care franchise owners, now covering 67 territories nationwide, utilize a business model that's created to scale. And they provide services that effectively create beautiful, safe lawns that homeowners want. With our solar powered lawn maintenance, custom organic fertilizers and weed control, we create beautiful lawns on which pets and kids can run and hug. Hi, I'm Kelly Giard, founder and CEO of Clean Air Lawn Care. Lawn care is dirty. An estimated 5% of the nation's air pollution comes from gas powered and lawn maintenance equipment. Also, many chemicals and fertilizers are known to be harmful. Clean air solves these problems. You see, we don't believe that kids and pets and employees should risk cancer to kill weeds. That's ridiculous. So how do we do it? We mow, trim, and blow our properties with solar powered electric equipment. We make our properties beautiful using organic fertilizers and weed controls. Let's go check in on tech, see how it works. All right, let's go drop in on a clean air lawn care mowing tech today. We're dropping in on Zach Steffel. Hey Zach, what do your customers think of the service? They love it. How many lawns are you gonna do today, you think? I think we got about 20 lawns to go today. All right, man. Good luck, have a good day. Our organic fertilizers and weed control products are custom made to create beautiful, lush lawns without the toxic chemicals. When you picture lawn fertilizers, do you imagine someone with their hands in a bucket of it? Or do you picture someone looking more like this around lawn fertilizers? We appreciate your investment consideration. Sky Blue. 
Minimum investment in clean air lawn care is 100 bucks. Couple of more quick notes about clean air lawn care. They have had an 18% growth in franchise owner revenue year over year. They consider themselves pioneers and experts in sustainable organic lawn care. They've improved the health of local communities with wildlife kid and pet friendly lawn treatments and clean zero emission lawn maintenance. If you'd like to learn more about investing in clean air lawn care, the Small Business Network can help. Drop us a line here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Stay tuned to TV News for today's entrepreneurs. That's right, right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. We'll be right back. You don't realize when you're mentoring and talking to people that you're more than just that mentor. You're, you're that person's support base. And sometimes you're the only person that they have that they can talk about these things with. Just a reminder before we continue, if you want to see more campaign pitches and franchises on offer, we have a number of ways for you to see plenty. Thursdays at 7 p.m. on Altice. Thursdays at 7 p.m. on Comcast. Thursdays at 7 p.m. on Roku. And around the clock, whenever you're ready, at www.connectsbn.com. We're back in a minute with more big news from the world of small business, right here on SBN, the Small Business Network. Please stay tuned. This is SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs. I'm Brian DeNovellis. Welcome. Now, there have been several instances we've noticed online lately where friends have been nudging us along, trying to get us to compare notes and pictures for the past 10 years, touting our successes, tracking our weight, looking how our kids have grown and our hair has been styled or departed. Some have been colossal achievements. Others have been entertaining. Still more have been might have expected that. So all the nudge proves is there are degrees to making success happen in this world. Nobody knows more about that than the founders behind our next featured crowdfunding campaign for Narrative Food. In the past nine years, the business has earned more than 3.5 million in revenue, delivering foods that tell a story to the doorsteps of 3,000 customers across 1,000 zip codes around Southern California. Now that might sound like a lot of math for one heck of a long run on sentence. So let's break it down a little, shall we? Narrative Food has filled 33,000 orders in nine years to earn the tune of three and a half million bucks. Good on them. And maybe good on you too, if you choose to make an investment in a company that has combined a tight knit customer base with 100 organic food growers and small scale food makers. This success story, get it? Narrative has succeeded through word of mouth, repeat customers, and zero dollars marketing budget. Why don't we take a moment and have a look at the crowdfunding campaign pitch video for Narrative Food. I believe food is so much more than just fat, proteins, and carbohydrates. Food is people in place and memories and time unplugged. And it's our health and the planet's health. I'm Jennifer Piet, the founder of Narrative Food. We provide our customers with a healthy, engaging food experience, which is good for our community and good for the environment. Almost 10 years ago, we packed our first farm boxes in the barn of a friendly farmer. We filled those boxes with fresh provisions for the week, produce and foods from all the food groups grown by local providers, and recipes on a weekly theme using almost everything in the box. We had no idea that nine years later we'd be an award-winning certified B Corporation, that we'd have delivered tens of thousands of food boxes. And bottom line, we would have never thought we could keep $3.5 million of our customers' food dollars in our local food system. We are now Southern California's oldest farm-to-table home delivery service still operating independently. 
I love working with Jennifer. We've worked together for a number of years. We share a lot of the same ideals, building community and sharing great food with people. It gives an opportunity to really know who's behind the things that they're eating, to build a relationship with somebody who cares about the fundamentals and just creates a level of trust and traceability with your food. Narrative food, Jennifer, absolutely wonderful. They're so supportive and I really believe in everything they stand for. Behind all great food there really is a good story and what I appreciate most is the opportunity to tell my story through my bread. Our boxes are more than just recipes and ingredients. Our boxes tell stories. They use local food narratives to inspire conversation around the table. While we could boast about famous people who get our boxes, it's the kids who we're most proud of. When me and my brothers and sisters were running around, and then when the box came, we would open it and get the fruits and vegetables out like it was presents on Christmas morning. My name is Bee, and I'm the creative director of Narrative Food. Narrative Food is important to me because we not only share delicious ingredients that are grown locally, but we share the stories behind the people, the place, the cultures, and all of the memories, the reasons why food does more than just give you nutrition, but gives you purpose and meaning when you're sharing um, a meal with friends and family. We're raising $200,000 to invest in our team and marketing. We need your support so we can scale to a more meaningful impact. So narrative food will thrive, not just survive. Thank you. Minimum investment in narrative food is $100. They have a lot of stories to tell, but it's very easy to see these entrepreneurs have set a determined pace to succeed and to succeed on their own terms. The next step may rely on your investment consideration as narrative food looks to scale up beyond Southern California and to market its model to the growing number of families going organic for mealtimes. If you'd like to learn more about narrative food, the Small Business Network can help. Please let us know by dropping a line here. Info at sbncrowd.com. We'll help connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. We can show you how. Stay tuned. There's more ahead as SBN continues. You're watching SBN, the small business network. We'll be right back. Ready to start or grow your small business? Visit sba.gov to learn more about how we can help. This is SBN, the Small Business Network. Welcome, I'm Brian DiNovellis. In our recent segments, you may have noticed an abundance of environmentally friendly products and projects, and you would be right. Continuing in that vein, here's a crowdfunding campaign that, when it succeeds, will provide a sustainable supply to a growing demand for hardwood. The founders of World Tree have already planted 2,000 acres of Empress Splendor in North America and Latin America, with 100 farmers cultivating a sort of reforestation where for each tree planted, the carbon footprint for four people is offset. It's an engaging, encouraging crowdfunding campaign presented for your consideration. Best we take a few minutes now and have a look at the project's pitch video for World Tree. I fell in love with a tree. When I was first told about the Empress tree, I just, I, I sat there in awe. So trees, like all green things, use carbon and they produce oxygen. The impact that the Empress tree has on our environment is incredible. The Empress tree can grow 10 to 20 feet in its first year and reaches hardwood maturity in as little as 10. After the first year of harvest, the tree regenerates up to seven times. In the last hundred years, we've had a big party on the planet, and we've made a big mess. And it's our job to clean up the mess we made, and we're going to be in a lot of trouble if we don't do what we need to do to, to clean things up. We have to not only reduce our carbon emissions, we also have to draw down the carbon that's already in the atmosphere, and that's where World Tree comes in. One acre of Empress trees absorb up to 90 metric tons of carbon per year. 
The programme is a partnership between World Tree, farmers and our investors. For each year we bring in a new pool of investors or a new season of investors and we plant trees on their behalf in many different locations. Ten years later for that vintage, we then harvest the trees for their lumber and sell the lumber. Wood as an investment in general has always been a good thing. It has constantly gone up over the last 20 years. In working with the wood, I'm really impressed with the uh, properties of the wood. It doesn't shrink, warp, split, and when you're working with it, it is completely versatile for so many uses. It's actually 30% stronger than pine, but 40% lighter than other hardwoods. The potential for the farmers after 10 years and taking care of the trees is huge. I call it the tree of life. And it's pretty exciting when the farmers watch this tree grow. One of our Costa Rica farmers said, this tree is so amazing, it's going to save the world. I have invested in a lot of different companies and different concepts. I have to say this is the first one that I've invested in that I've been so excited about every part of the operation as opposed to just the outcome. I know I have an investment that isn't gonna to contribute to the degradation of our planet. For me, that's why it's, like, it's so full and fulfilling. It's because I know it's aligned with what I'm up to and what I want for the future. To make a difference, to really make a difference in counteracting climate change, we have to act now. There's, there's a small window. If we all come together, World Tree, our farmers, and you, we can create a sustainable future for ourselves and for the planet. Get involved. Let's let Mother Nature know we are on her side. Spread the word, we can make a difference. Together. 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 Together we can be carbon neutral. We can make a difference. Together we can change the world. Minimum investment in World Tree is $2,500. A couple of quick points. The trees are managed and cared for by farmers, which reduces the upfront costs of growing Empress Splendor hardwood. The founders behind World Tree have more than 20 years' experience in managing projects like this. There's much more to learn about World Tree before you consider making an investment, and the Small Business Network can help. Drop us an email here, info at sbncrowd.com. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding lawyer, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. Please let us show you how. Still more ahead. Back in a minute with more SBN, the Small Business Network. TV news for today's entrepreneurs. I think that the most important thing for anybody as they build their business is getting comfortable looking at reports, even if it's not the sexiest part of your business, because it isn't. <laughs> One of the hardest things about being a small business owner is handling all the different things you're responsible for, from finances, to production, to sales, to people, you name it, you are working all the time and you're thinking about your business all the time. One of the things that is really important is deciding where you're going to spend your money, where you want to put it. There's a lot of different costs involved in running a business. We're primarily a wholesale company, so our biggest cost is just manufacturing our goods. But of course, there's staff fees, there's warehousing fees, our third-party logistics center, there's legal, all sorts of professional fees. In trying to decide how to allocate our money, I am not a bookkeeper, I'm not an accountant, but I do look at reports regularly. Every week I'm checking our profit and loss, I'm looking at our inventory levels, and trying to adjust things. I think that you have to be paying attention to the actual numbers because you will play favorites with your favorite styles or you know, certain things will seem like they're doing better. You just can't trust what you think is happening. And it's important to learn to take your emotions out of any of your business decisions, and especially out of what product you're going to make or discontinue. It has to be about the numbers in the end. That will about do it for us today. 
We hope you saw some things you liked in a traditional way, whether or not you've chosen to invest. We hope you join us again soon. And thank you very much for making SBN part of your viewing habits. Until next time, good heart, good health, and good investing. From all of us here at SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.